We are back in Melbourne and we are happy about it. We used to live here and we've come back for a trip. It's where this channel started in fact. So we adore this city. Yeah. It is wild for food. We're going to be taking you in this three part series to some of our old favourites, real local spots, some new spots that we want to check out. It's going to be packed full of great food. It is going to be awesome. We're going to have to show you some real secret little places, just some epic food. And the first one is right here, Melbourne style. We're in a laneway. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena. And we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. First stop is Nico's Sandwich Deli. Look at this place. Super cool. In the laneway, we're having an oxtail... Melt. Let me show you their menu. How good so does they're that famous sound? for their sandwiches, famous for their melts. We've got our eye on this. An oxtail melt. Yeah, look. Wonderful. Um, no, just that, thank you. Look at this place, seriously cool. The sandwiches smell great, coffee to start. I've got a Magic, which is a uniquely Melbourne coffee, I believe. When we lived here five, six years ago, this wasn't a thing. Sort of a, a big piccolo, small flat white. For me, that's the perfect size coffee, so coffee, sandwich on the way. So excited! Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this place is famous for their melts or their toasties and fresh sandwiches. Only eight items on the menu, so super succinct. Do a few things done well. We ordered the oxtail. Oh yeah, look at this. This is the best looking toasty I've ever seen. It is loaded with braised oxtail beef cheek, slow cooked in red wine and sherry for 8 to 12 hours. There's cheese in there, there's pickles, um, I think there's a mustard as well and look at that bread, look at it, it is golden. That's perfection. Crunch of that bread. The meat is so tender. And then you've got the tang of the pickles. Mmm. Mmm. I can't get enough. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. The crust that's formed on that bread, the crunch you get from that, that is rich, delicious. Man, that is good. What a way to start this series. This is what this series is going to be about. Fantastic food, great locations in this true food city of the world. Melbourne is one of the world's food capitals. Having lived here in the past, we know that. We know there's so many gems here and we can't wait to film it for this series and wow, what a start. That is an awesome, awesome sandwich. Mm. The whole video today is being filmed in the CBD, which is so walkable here in Melbourne. It's big, I mean, there's a lot going on, but it's not too big that you can't walk absolutely everywhere or take the free trams, so there's free trams all around the city, but it's such an easy place to get around and there's so many cool little hidden places. We're heading into a car park building now for our next stop. We're heading to Soy 38 for Thai food. These guys do delicious eats. And it's so cool, it's hidden in a car park. Somebody car, thanks. All right. 
right, popped in our order. I love the noodle soups here. So we ordered a boat noodles with beef and a tom yum noodles with pork and prawn wontons. <laughs> One of my absolute fave dishes in Thailand, boat noodles. I had to get it in this crazy broth. The broth for boat noodles is full of aromatics, full of flavor. Look at this place. You can tell the place is full of flavor. You walk in and just the smell is like being in Thailand. And we were in Thailand last week. We took a group tour there. And this has just given me this amazing feeling of being back. So I've got beef, beef boat noodles. Great depth of flavour. Beef is nice and tender for me. Needs a bit of chilli, so classic Thailand caddy on the table. Get some chilli on there. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of sugar as well. Mix it in. Noodles. Look at that. Oh, luscious. Mmm, yeah. It's a good hit of spice now. A tiny bit of sweetness has come through. Mmm. That is a delicious dish and I love this environment. It's a really cool place. I've gone for the Tom Yum noodle soup. So you can choose a range of different noodles. I've gone for the egg noodles. This bowl is loaded with goodies. So prawn wontons, minced pork, roast pork, uh, crispy wonton skins for texture. Ooh, nice and tangy. So Tom Yum, a sour, spicy soup. But like Thomas, I'm gonna add, so chili. It so needs more of a fiery kick and a bit of vinegar to make it a ooh, little bit more sour. Okay. Mm. Oh yeah. Al dente noodles, still got a bit of chew. Adding that chili really ramped up that heat. And um, the bowls are all $10, so really good value. Like I said, tons of noodles to choose from. Boat noodles, tom yum, there's cow soy, uh, and you can add extras. This is really, really good. Mmm! Transports me back to Thailand, those flavours. And also just the atmosphere of the restaurant. The tables, the colours, and it's fuzzy. It's definitely not what you'd call the best day here <laughs> in Melbourne today. It's a bit wet, not too cold, but it's, it's a it's little squashy. chilly. But this goes back to what I was talking about with the CBD being so walkable because we're often undercover, so we're just wandering. We're not getting too wet. And man, we're having some good food. Next is ice cream with gelato. <laughs> oh yeah. So this is not just any gelato bar. This is Filipino inspired gelato. So we are talking pandan, Ube, buko, which is coconut. I am so pumped to be here. Let's head in. Hi! How lucky are we? I'm behind the scenes at Carrytown with co-founder John Rivera. He's making his famous Ube Halaya gelato. I have been drooling from across the ditch over this gelato for two years. And now I'm behind the scenes and getting to watch it being made by the guy who invented it. Amazing. You might, you might get to make it as well. And taste it, hopefully. That's the best part. Ooh. So yeah, we, we source our milk from Gippsland, Jersey. So over in the Gippsland region. And what we really love about that milk is that it's ethically sourced. So all the farmers are paid a fair price as well. Um, you know, we pay a bit more money, um, but we, get, we sleep well at night knowing that yeah. these farmers are continuing what they do really really well and what, they've, what their families have been doing really really well for, for, so, for so long 
And I think that really comes through in the quality of the milk. Yeah, um, flavor. It's, yeah, it's super creamy. It's super, you know, fatty in a good way. Ube gelato, ube fudge, mm -hmm. black currant jam, and then the coconut yep. crumb. Yep, and then it gets all nicely marbled in the tin like that, mm. so that you get little random pockets of goodness as you uh, as you devour your gelato. I'm drooling. <laughs> so all of the gelato and sorbet is based on Filipino desserts. I've got to go for the ube halaya. So ube is purple yam. That's what we saw being made upstairs and the buko pandan, buko is coconut. There's, um, well, technically it's a sorbet, but John says it's so creamy that it comes off like a gelato. There's, what's in there, pandan jelly. So there's pandan jelly, there's uh, sweet and shredded coconut, um, and toasted rice flakes, which is uh, just um, sweet and glutinous rice that's been uh, flattened. Yeah. And then we just toast it up. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I'm so happy looking at it because of the colors. So it's buko pandan on the bottom, uh, the ube halaya on the top. I've waited two years to eat this ice, this gelato. Two years. These guys started the business in lockdown as a delivery service and now they've expanded into two shops. We're right in the heart of Chinatown. Oh. Holy moly. It was worth the wait. Oh, the ube is so strong in flavor. You've got those chewy, bitter crumbs from the coconut crumb. This is the buko pandan. Pandan is a leaf that's used in a lot of Southeast Asian desserts. I like to describe it as the vanilla of the East. It is so strong in that pandan flavor and it's so creamy. Oh my goodness. John, it is amazing. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I'm in the ice cream zone too. This is delicious. You have to come here if you're in Melbourne. What a like place. it's a must eat. Yeah, and visually just the shop itself is really neat to be in and be be part of, but the ice cream is unbelievable. Well, I've already told Thomas we're coming back every day this week to make our way through the flavours. <laughs> Yum! <laughs> I am having such a great day. It's so good to be back in Melbourne, where we used to live. We're, it's been years since we've been here, and we're just hitting up some great places. There's some old favourites for us, some new places. This next one, though, is, a, is an old favourite. It's somewhere we used to come all the time for some really interesting dumplings, and I'm super excited for this meal. <laughs> Shandong Mama is our favourite place in Melbourne CBD for dumplings. They do delicious fried fish dumplings. Let's head in. This place is awesome. It's tucked away in a little arcade. Perfect for dumplings. So we've just ordered some fried fish dumplings and also some boiled dumplings. How good did these fish dumplings look? So stuffed full of filling, mackerel, garlic, chives. And what I love about the ones here are they have a really thin skin and they're really generous with the filling. I've got a little mixture of chili oil and vinegar. Mm-hmm. Mm. Unreal. Super thin skin and the filling is really light and fluffy, almost like a mousse. It doesn't have a really strong fish flavour, but you can definitely taste the fish. And super juicy. Mm. We're still right in the heart of Chinatown here, so this is dumpling zone for Melbourne. It's well known for somewhere you come and you just have a big feast of dumpling with your mates. So we've got the, the fish ones which Sheena's just eaten. They're pretty unusual. They're not something you find at too many of the places around here. Quite a different style, quite different having the, the fish filling, mackerel filling. We also got some classic though. These are prawn, pork and chive, boiled dumplings, vinegar, chili.
Mmm. That filling, light filling, packed with chives. Mmm. That's really good. I really enjoy it when they just pack it out with greens. Full of flavor, light, perfectly cooked, delicious. I now see why this was one of our favorites when we lived here. We used to come here a lot and I'm so happy to be back. So remember this is video one of, of a three part series. So there's more to come. We're gonna be exploring all around Melbourne, outside the CBD as well. This one's just been in the CBD. There is so much good food here. It's an incredible food city. We can't wait to explore more. It's so good to be back. It's so good to be eating here. We hope you've enjoyed this one. Chuck a comment down below if you've enjoyed it. Tell us where you like to eat when you're in Melbourne or if you live in Melbourne. Hit subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. There's more to come. Thank you for watching.